Oh no! It is them! Pharaoh, I'm coming, but I've only had about five heart attacks on the way over. Welcome all my fellow feature outlaws, I'm the NKK Double G, got another great opening for you today. 12 packs, half a booster box of that Abyss Rising, a set I have not opened up that much of. A set that really hasn't liked me too much. I did pull a Bahamut Shark like three years ago on the channel during a mystery box opening, but you know, that was three years ago. What have you done for me lately? I mean, come on Abyss. We also got that three power pack, or... But of course, we got three packs from the vault as well. Two Order of Chaos and a first edition Extreme Vicky. Can we pull that Junk Berserker again? Ghost form? Three weeks in a row? Three, four ghosts? That would be absolutely stupid, but you know, these packs seem to be absolutely stupid. Who knows? Don't forget that absolutely stupid Patreon power pack. <laughs> 20 likes, 20 comments below. Hit, let me know which favorite pull or pack was, or you know. Freaking cats, I swear, I can't do any, like, they only go buck wild when I'm opening cards. Like I said, it kind of makes me proud. But anyways, yeah, 20 likes, 20 comments. Don't forget, enters that giveaway, unlocks it, $2 a month through the Patreon. I'll let you join the Discord, and $20 a month will get you one of those for free. I also sell a bunch of packs right now you can open on the channel, or for yourself. Just let me know. It'll probably be up there or down there in the description, and uh, let's make some, or let's make some, let's pull some ghosts together, man. Abyss Rising. Let's see what we can do today. Let's see. It's Harbreak. Actually, let me look up this set because I don't even know what's in it. Alrighty, this is the set with Medulce Tiramisu as well. This set actually has quite a bit. Spellbook of Fate. Shark Ghost. Sharks love us last time. Let's keep it up. Stoic of Prophecy. Medulce <gasps> Ticket. Slushy. Gaga. <gasps> hey, I'll take that. That's a good start. Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. Good super. Such a good card. Probably will always be at least decent, because just burning someone for an extra 800 sometimes is all you need. Eight Magician, Bull Blader, not a bad card. Mermail, huh? Dolce, Heroic Nothing, Heroic Gift, I disagree. What is that? It's supposed to, it's just like a block horse. And like stuff got stuck to it. That's all I can think about. I can't open this pack. It's indestructible. Is it harboring the ultimate? Oops. Yeah, this is one of those sets where the ultimate actually outpaced the ghost. That's crazy, dude. Heroic advance. Emperor. Heroic. You were behind last time. All right. Slightly sl slow start. We did get a Gaga. -ga. Lady Gaga would be happy. I feel like that's where they definitely got that card series from. Gaga. They de like, there's no way, you think. Heroic Advance, Tribe Top oh! Fish, Mermail, Nimble Angler, Angler, all these fish, all these fishing references, and I'm not getting anything. Not pulling a single fish from the sea. I need a path. Mogmole, I love that card. Mermail, <laughs> Snar Snowdust Dragon, almost said Stardust. Unification, this is a bit rough. These packs are a bit rough. They're hating me right now. Come on, dude. Ghost. Peony Penguin. That's actually a good common. Electromagnet. Mog Mole. Noble Arms. Hey, we pulled a secret rare. Thunder Seahorse. I have no idea if that's good. I feel like I've heard about this card before, though. So, let's hope... I mean, took us a little while to get there, but we pulled a secret. You can discard this card. Add two level light thunder mo type monsters for the same name with 1600 or less attack from your deck to your hand. That sounds like if uh, thunder dragons were still top tier, that'd actually probably be worth a decent amount. But it still might be worth something because people probably still like the thunder dragons. Not bad. One super. We're uh, halfway through. One secret. What's going to an ultimate dude? Ultimate dude? Deep sweeper. It's the fucking DJ Rumba, Roomba, Rumba, DJ Roomba of the sea. They basically are Electromagnetic Bog, Mog, Abyss, Tripod, Mermail, Attack the Moon, the best card ever made, dude. This was definitely not a, a reference to a time where Yugi may or may not have cheated and used a monster to attack an equip spell, I think it was, Mystic Moon. They treated it as a field spell, I think. 
or it was a field spell and it wasn't Mystic Moon. But either way, it was definitely cheating. Ixie Extreme, Snowman Creator. That is... That looks like something you'd find in a Kirby game. Deep Sweeper. Soul Light. Alright, well, three su or two supers and a secret. It's not the worst ratios, but we haven't really pulled anything big, which hopefully we can rectify that in the next five packs or so. Unification. We are not seeing that happening. Fishborg Launcher. That might be a dollar still. Oh, this one melted. A Dolce, please. That sounds like chocolate. Ultimate Rare in my hand. Tripod Fish. Oof. Madolce Croissant. Croissant. I love croissants, dude. They are one of the top tiers of bread. Up right up there with brioche. And banana bread. Fishboard Planter. Last pack. Give us something. Bulb later. Slushy. Nothing. Lemur. Oops. Lemura. Mermail. Hit my camera. Everything is ruined. Technical difficulties. All right. Well. That was a little rough. That was a little on the rough side. Only three hollows out of 12 packs. Not so great. Hopefully the vault can make up for it. But we gotta have a commercial break with Order of Chaos. Wind up that honeybee, dude. Put it on toast. Insector Dragonfly. We got a super, but of course it's an Ninjinzu Art of Super Transformation because that's the only super we ever get. Super, super transformation Ninjinzu Art. Super, super. Give me a beetle. I can't even remember if this set has a ghost. I feel like it does. I feel like I've never heard of it. Aqua Armor Ninja. Interplanetary. Sup, bro? Vampire. Evil Tile. And another super. Evil Tile. Nahasho. I feel like we definitely just got two supers that weren't weren't worth much. But uh, hey, it does add to our hollow rates. So that's like we're up to 5 out of 14. Come on, Vicky. Come on, Vicky. You've been good to us before, but can you now? In first edition, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. Esper Girl, TGSX1. Ooh, that was a bit harsh. There was two other supers in there, but I'm too lazy to grab them. It was a bit of a rough opening, probably about a four or five. We got, we got, a, we got to be real. By, by about a four or five. We did pull. This is, seems like it could be a good card, but uh, no ultimates, no ghosts. A little bit rough, but that's okay because tomorrow we have what is my probably my most special opening yet, and it's literally the set that got me back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Kind of, at least in the openings when Rhyme Style started doing it over and over again. So I blame him. But I found this for a good price. And tomorrow, we will open Retro Pack 2. We only have three packs. And, you know, I'll have some more before we open it, of course. But we're going to take a chance at that Shining Dragon. Or pretty much any, like, just any hollow. Honestly, just any hollow is fine. But, you know, I've, wanted, I've been wanting to open this pack for so long before since before i started like doing openings on the channel so that's gonna be exciting tomorrow one or no we get three chances for that shining dragon probably not gonna happen but honestly it's been kind of crazy lately so come on bro right here i'm ready for it shining dragon come on anyways i hope you all enjoyed this was a bit of rough opening let me know which favorite poll was down below Patreon Power Pack, 20 likes, 20 comments, and tomorrow, I better see you here. Later.